Here we're having a practical a Farmers of Iowa field day on June 29th here at our farm in northern Chickasaw County. Um, we're going to showcase uh, a, a crop out in the field. Uh, it's a brand new crop. This is hybrid rye. Um, it's a plant variety protected crop because the seed was developed uh, by a company. Um, I sowed this crop on September 15th of 2016. Um, grew well in the fall, overwintered, um, and you can see it grew very well this spring. Um, what's noted of this field is this field had intense, heavy, giant ragweed pressure. Uh, we have pictures of a strip to our left that shows uh, that was just pure giant ragweed. And if you look in here, the ragweeds that are existing here in almost late June are very small. And then when we do the harvest here, uh, those ragweeds have no chance of making a viable seed whatsoever, nor are they going to hurt our straw quality or our grain yield. Our grain yield here has been set. This crop is only maybe 10 days away from harvest. Um, we're going to windrow this, we're going to have a combine, and they're going to be using it for livestock feed for our hogs. Our livestock's all certified organic, so it has to meet the National Organic Program standards, which means there are no slat floors and there's no uh, uh, pits. So but that means we have to have bedding. So uh, a real problem for our farm was that if a ragweed was destroying our ability to grow oats, we could get no bedding. So here, uh, giant, our uh, giant ragweed is being overwhelmed with hybrid ryegrass. And after this grain is harvested, this should make a good straw crop. And we need every bit of the straw. So this is a double crop, really. It's both a grain for livestock feed and a bedding crop as well. Then we will no-till our new crop of hay into this rice stubble at a suitable time this August. The rye's ability to suppress ragweed comes from the fact it's planted in September when the ragweed is doing nothing. And so it is a fall a seeded annual that grows through the fall and has this jump in the spring because it's an established plant. It doesn't germinate from seed in the spring and start overnight. What the, what the rye is, is it, it just comes back to life from winter dormancy. So it has a huge jump start on things. If you'll notice, the only weed around here is the small, uh, uh, a small stand of the rag. There is no other weeds available. You don't see foxtail or anything else. Um, they're just overwhelmed by it. Um, and actually, this isn't even in the thickest part of the plot <laughs> because uh, the other part of the plot was planted even thicker. It's even, uh, it's even di a little different than this, even uh, uh, more suppressed yet. Jeepers, if you farmed out here and you saw how much damage we had due to ragweed that we were having every problem control with known to man, and uh, now we have a crop that we can stick in our rotations and repress ragweed plus give us livestock feed at the same time, I'm pretty excited! And if you're going to be a pheasant, how'd you like to have this to raise your brood in?